just when my spirits were so high, I just don't, I just know what to, I don't know what to do, rather, and then the sun is just gone. I just need a ray of light. One bright ray would do it, uh, so much for me right now. Whoa, there are at least three rays of lights over there, Mario. Maybe even four. It's gonna be like Club Koopa. It's just gonna be a nightclub filled with, like, origami assholes. It's gonna be the same nightclub from the Mario Brothers movie, where Mario dances with Big Bertha, and grabs the pendant, and does the dinosaur. Someone said I would love to see movie Goomba as origami. <laughs> the the weird, crusty, small head, dinosaur-looking joke Goombas that were way taller than Mario Brothers himself. Uh, don't they make those noises, or they go? And then the I think the the other ones with the dinosaur heads go. Bah! Thing is, I would rather watch the Mario Brothers movie. Almost any time than some other films. Just because it's so wacky. It's a really entertaining bad movie. Someone said that's how I feel about Mortal Kombat. Now that is a movie I haven't seen in a very, very long time. Street Fighter movie I haven't seen in a while. When I was a kid, I used to see it. It was on TV, like uh, on, on the HBO. HBO was intent on showing me bad video game movies. But even the Street Fighter movie had some good stuff in it, like Raul Julia was really good as M. Bison. It's just... Every video game movie... ...kinda had something good. Like, even if it was just something that could have been cool, like the Mario Brothers movie had the really great set design... ...that looked nothing like Mario, but a lot like another movie. And it had, um... Some some cool action scenes, I guess. It had Dennis Hopper, who was probably really high when he was doing his scenes. Oh well, I know uh, John. <laughs> I know John Leguizamo and Bob Hoskins were all fucked up when they were filming that movie. They were drinking a lot, heavily. The Mortal Kombat movie had some really genuinely fun fight scenes. The Resident Evil movies were just schlocky action. But again, turn your brain off. I've never seen a full Resident Evil movie, but I've seen plenty of scenes from the Resident Evil movies. And I'm perfectly content not having seen those movies, but... Um, I do remember Rich Evans laughing like crazy when the dog's face split open. So that is, is a glorious memory. The CG ones are decent? I've heard. Yeah, I might want to check one of those out eventually. Um, and then there's the Doom movie with Dwayne The Rock. Roxon, who really could have done anything else with his time. And yet, I even found some value in that movie. I thought it had a couple cool, like, ideas. Like, the first person scene was pointless, but also kind of neat. Um, it just had a couple cool sets. <laughs> it, I wouldn't rewatch that movie, but I, I liked some of it. You know what? Video game movie, I think, is the best. Goldeneye. <laughs> Sure, it's a reverse video game movie. I still think um, Detective Pikachu is, is the best video game movie that I've seen. Some may disagree. Some may... I, Sonic was good, too. But I, I think Detective Pikachu really... It, it's rewatchable. It's fun. It does justice to the source material. And... Uh, it was fun. It was just a fun movie. It wasn't anything mind-blowing. But it had a good plot that you could follow. And Sonic was surprisingly funny. Um... And also very simple plot. It, it didn't ruin anything. It could've, but the new Sonic model was nice. Sonic movie had better acting, but DP had a ton of fan service. Yeah, I'm also not as familiar with the Sonic, you know, like, thing. I don't really have that Sonic nostalgia. So for me, it was just a fun movie. And it had Jim Carrey's in it. <laughs> I know I'm using fun as an adjective a lot, but that's the best I can give for these movies. Usually fun, like saying a movie is fun, could be a kiss of death. Because it's like, well, that's, that's... lame. Kind of empty praise. But for a video game movie, I'm fine with that.